Well guys, welcome to Scrap and Irish. Probably no one in yet because the great Shark Scrapper is still going live and he had Chris from Boardsort over there, um, which was brilliant to see. Um, so anyone that is in, please let me know in the in the chat if you're in. And um, if you were over in, at uh, Shark um, Scrapper's Live, which was brilliant to talk to see Chris from Boardsort talking about all the... Uh, way he grades his boards, what he's doing on boards, stuff like that, um, which is is good for anyone that's into the scrap and into the e-waste, recycling, trying to make money from e-waste, stuff like that. Um, if you're into that, then that was a great live for anyone that wanted to see that. What am I up to tonight? Well, I'm still sorting through. Oh, let me get it up. I'm still sorting through that bucket of rubbish that I have there um which was um sorry guys i'm on the wrong screen which there we go that bucket of bits and pieces so i'm still trying to remove any of the copper bearing material like them they're all little copper which i hope to strip down at some stage i know that if there's any guys in there who love the micro scrapping that's it exactly what i'm after hey uh heartside poo's mate uh patrick williams george uh jr cat desert scrapper welcome in guys great to see you guys um so again i'm still picking out these relays um that's what i'm at here because these relays all have little bits of silver in it and where have i put my little little bits there's in here i'll be putting my you can probably see them down there little silver bits i break off from these relays uh stuff like that so um who else is in bush dog is in uh, electronic scrappers in um oh there's something i needed to do sorry guys uh there we go uh let me see who else is there for uh carby what are we doing today uh i'm just sorting out some stuff here i was over at shark scrappers live and I'm, a lot of these people coming in were over at shark scrappers live and it was great to see um chris from board sort over there um so um, it was good to see him. No, I knew there was something else I was meant to do. See, I got so worked up watching um, Shark Scrapper and Chris's live, I even forgot to put the link in for anyone who wants to come up and chat. See how much I got into Shark's live there. Uh, pin that. So if anyone wants to come up, it is there now for them on the YouTube side. So um, welcome in, guys. Good to see you all. Hope all is well. Uh, it was good to see some new faces over there at um, Shark Scrappers Live. Oh, there's the the man himself, Shark Scrapper. Really enjoy that live. See, I got so much into your live, I forgot to set everything up on my own. I forgot to put the link in. I forgot to, to go over to YouTube and put the subscriber only set up on it. I forgot to do all that. Uh, so I did. I was so into it. It was, it was really um, cool to see... Um, Chris and Boardsort, I was intrigued with all his. I was glad you asked him to show all the uh, PCs and stuff behind him, uh, all the old vintage stuff that was there in his office. Um, it was pretty cool to see all that. I, I'm sure Ralph is still having a cold shower after seeing the old Ataris and all the old. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Uh, I tell you what, I, I, um, man, I, that hour just flew by. You it did. Was, was, no, I did. Oh, I did. Send you, I did send you a message to say I would have gone on later if you wanted to carry on. So uh, yeah. you know, there was no issue there. Um, I'll take one later, Ralph is saying. But uh, yeah, it was great to see how he grades the boards, and it was very interesting to see that. What I found it very interesting to see what he said about when he buys the board and how long he has to wait before he sees a return on that board. Yeah, I didn't think he wait that long. Yeah. You know? um that, that that was something that kind of shocked me that he he, he has to wait was six months before he sees a return so he pays you now six months later before he sees a return on that board we have another um reprimand down in the basement um <laughs> where have i got this bad name from i, I just don't know it's well earned um, ian it's well earned I, i'm like the epitome of etiquette Oh God, the epitome of etiquette! What a sentence to come out from a um, a, a guy was, from. Go I'm on, disappointed. On. I'm disappointed. I had three one-ton bags all laid out. 
I was hoping for like a link and I could do a video thing, but it just didn't happen. Oh, well, you see, all week yeah. you should have been video on that and you should have had to send it over to Sharp Scrapper and he would have said, here is a guy who has a secret location. He can't reveal it because of the wealth he has of material. <laughs> 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 I'm going to have to make room tomorrow, actually. <laughs> oh, is, it, is this to do with the, um, the people that are in the know? This is to do with the 32 pallets that are coming tomorrow. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. The you people that are in the know. <laughs> yes, I tell you, Matthews, you are going to be sleeping in the sacred location because no bins are going to be able to hide that. They will. If I put them on, on neighbour's drive. <laughs> you don't think she'll catch on to that? Nah, she never looks behind the bins. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! I, I've let her have a. I've let her let her in, have let her enjoy the weekend. You know, I, I've not built up any, any anticipation whatsoever. Does she, does she know this is coming? <laughs> <laughs> Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. What I, what I what I don't know. It will. Um, what I do know is that it's going to be a good return for it, all of it. But how long is it going to take you to get all that stuff broken down and gone? Do you reckon? Oh. See that I can only go on a Friday afternoon. <laughs> a while. <laughs> Might be worth taking a week's holiday. Work. Oh yes, I could take a I'd take a week's holiday and yeah. Uh, oh no! <laughs> oh no! My keyboard is goobered up. <laughs> you got a sticky? I get sticky keys. Uh, yeah. I don't even want to know how you get sticky keys. I don't even. I don't even want to go there. I, I do have to apologize to folks. I was trying to type in some comments while I was up on the live stream and, and my space bar was stuck. So let's see here. Let's see if Shark is All right. It, it. It, it seems to be working now. All right. Yeah, I think we're working now. So, yeah. So I apologize. Uh, I wasn't able to respond to comments when we when I was up on the live stream, but I think we're good to go now. Why is everybody different colours in, in chat? Uh, someone was saying something about this on YouTube there lately. That um, I, I, Let me go over and see if it's doing it. It's only doing it on some people's. Um, it's not doing it on my YouTube. I'm looking there. On, it on is. YouTube. The, no, no, it's not. Red. I'm saying when I look at YouTube there, it's not doing it. Everyone is either in blue or in white. That's it. Well, but no, other, got... other people's YouTubes are showing all different colors on some people's lives. Yeah, we, we, I've got blue. We've got red. We've got a shitty color of brown. That's what do you mean by different? What do you mean by different colors? I don't. I'm not. It was saying some people are saying people's names are highlighted differently on certain. Sometimes this has been yeah. happening lately on some YouTube lives that we'd say the moderators say blue. But yeah. other people who aren't moderators, some of them come up as blue, some of them come green. up as um, green, some of them come green. up as red. Copper 11 is green. Uh, yeah. George Richardson's red. Kevin's kind of this brownie colour. It was same yeah. on shirt. You it's know, not it's... happening on my side now, so it's not. Yeah, I'm not I'm not seeing it here either. Yeah, it's just some people it's happening to. And um, I don't know what it is, whether YouTube are testing something on something new they're testing or something like that. I don't know if it's something to do with that or what. I'm not, I, I'm not really bothered. I know I'm a tool, so it doesn't matter, does it? Yeah. Um, <gasps> hi to, I see, did I see new uh, repair, restore, recycle? Hi for um, Cruiser Mac is in. Let me see who else did it, uh, Tim is in, George is in, Who's Mate. I think I said hi to already. Kevin Sturges. I'm going to show you. There we go. Does that look well, blue, blue, red, different colours? Yeah. So the okay, all right. Now that's interesting. So the blue is people that have that are moderators that you've given a yeah. spanner to. So that makes sense. But why but it's red? red one that's weird. Oh, and no, there's, a, there's a green one there at the top. And a green, yeah, that is interesting. 
Yeah. Because I'm not seeing that at all. No, that's not showing up for me either. Yeah. I thought you it was kind of like you, whether you, you was in a club, or, whether you was in a club or not. I thought, well, I, I probably worked in this club. You see, and no, no, um, I, maybe, I thought, maybe I'm just going to have to have a drink. Have maybe to have a drink because I'm not in that club. <laughs> Let me take you down off there again. Now you've had enough prime time. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah, that yeah. was that was you know when you've got when you've got a guest up like that and you're and you're cranking through the questions and things like that really hard I, irish i give you a lot of credit for being able to keep track of the chat stream and saying oh, wow. hi to people as they come in and oh man i have really got to get better at this <laughs> it's, it's so hard it's so easy to ignore chat when you've got a guest up on you've got other people on the panel very easy to ignore chat oh yeah Raphael Rab is asking me who's the like guy that he's meant to hit it's the guy with the thumbs up that way you hit him as hard as you can at the bottom of the screen there <laughs> <laughs> only once now not twice <laughs> yeah and don't You're get the Australian one, dude one time. Don't, don't time hit. Australian dude. There we go. have it have it you like <laughs> number 20. go <laughs> man go man um so, Mr. Matthews, right, does Shark know what you're, we're on about when we say these pallets are stuffed for a start? Yes. So this, okay. Yes. So, so, Shark, imagine if you turned up outside your house and filled your driveway and filled your garage with all this stuff he's going to have. What would your missus say to you? Well, you see, this is why we don't have weapons in the house. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just tell it. Listen, love, you're looking at it the wrong way. That is you going to be showered in money. Oh, uh, hey, when have you um, ever showered anyone in money? Anyway, I've got a plan. <laughs> hey, I'm making, they're all red, aren't they? I'm making you something for Valentine's. Yeah, you know, right. when I first started doing this, I told her, just think of all the gold that I'm going to end up with that I can turn into jewelry for you. She's still waiting on the jewelry. <laughs> yeah. well, hey, she should be like Eva. Uh, just when as soon as as soon as uh, Raphael has his has his silver or uh, gold done, she just takes it straight away. That's it. There gone. you go. There you go. Uh, uh, Ian, can I show this picture that you? Sent? Yes, you can show it. I don't have the technological skills. <laughs> Look at all them fire extinguishers on their way. To Ian Matthews. Now, yeah. tell me this, Ian. How are you going to transport? Is the person going to drop them off at you, or do you have to transport them in bits in your car, one we, pallet at a time? I just, just mere details. We're not. We're winging it. <laughs> so, Ian, uh, help me understand this. Over in the United Kingdom, is it lawyers or barristers that handle divorce? <laughs> 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 Poo's mate. <laughs> <Come> together, robot. <laughs> hey, Poo's mate, it depends what that robot's able to do. <laughs> yeah, Cruiser Max says the plan is fluid. It's fluid. <laughs> and you have to, do all these fire extinguishers have to be discharged yet? Uh, now, for the purpose of this uh, live stream that's going out across the world, they will all come to me empty. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. When that, when that weather sap picks up this huge plume of CO2 <laughs> for the UK, uh, and they think, oh, there's a, there's a volcano gone off. No, no. It, hey, it, when, when, when the satellites pick up this emanating stuff from England, they say, the Chinese have landed another balloon and it's over England at this moment. <laughs> we, uh, I'm just going to say, we have a plan. When I say we, me, 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 I have a plan. Yeah, it involves okay. staying behind it. It, be all, it involves an hour, an hour a night doing it. Uh, London, we have a problem. <laughs> an hour a night, but... <laughs> Even if you do an hour a night, that's going to still, that amount of fire extinguishers is going to take you two, three weeks. I, I didn't tell you it's every week this, did I? 
No. No. It's a big <laughs> one. I've gone, I've gone white shirt. I've gone big. Oh, oh, here we go. So he's gone from um, hobbyist scrapper to metal artist yes, to full-time big-time scrapper. It's all like that. <laughs> right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did you just say that that load is a weekly load? Yeah, he did. Uh, mm, this one's a 800 in the first go and then 200 a week after that. Okay, you may have to start buying the cutting discs now, Ian, instead of just waiting <laughs> for it. <laughs> hey, buying discs when you come off it. Uh, well, I probably have to work. I only cut the tops off and rush and doll them because I only get like 20, 30 a week over a few days. So I stack them up. This instance, I don't know. I'm, I've I've talked to the yard and they've got like a a little roll on, roll off. As a, bit, a van would pick it up. Okay. Yeah. So we're doing a deal. It's uh, it, I'm just gonna. I don't have to cut the tops off. Just load them up. He will pick that pick that up. So all, all you'd be doing essentially is removing the brass and sending the rest as scrap, and then collect up your brass and bring that in yourself. Yes. Okay. All right. That's the okay. plan. That's the plan. So you're you're not as um as um dumb as you look. Thank you. <laughs> I'll take the backhanded compliment. Yeah. <laughs> Only messing with you. I know well you're a smart guy, <laughs> Mr. Matthews. There ain't no flies on you. And if they are, they're paying rent. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see how the first week goes. Well, we'll see how the first night goes. Yeah, see how you like the cold shed. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Boy. She never looks behind the bins. It's a, it's a cert. It's a, you know what I mean? Um, who has it's just when the bins are at the front of the house. That's the problem. Which by board and everybody is your best chicken who is a hot Hey, hey hello, Grandpa Kevin. <laughs> hey, Grandpa Kevin. Welcome in. I like Kevin. Um, do you I still like have that your, uh, your diver's comment there about the Chinese balloon? <laughs> yeah, Ian, do you still have that that little space, that little cubby hole in your garden area that you can hide stuff behind and put that <laughs> mesh door or whatever that was? Um, uh, you used to hide I, stuff. Oh well, yeah, I can bring that all almost to the back door, can't I? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Dean, have you considered using a large pipe cutter on those fire extinguishers? I use something similar to on car tail pipes, cuts through in seconds, no sparks. That's an idea. That is an idea, yes. Yeah. And I know at work we have a pipe vice. Hmm. I think the idea is not to even cut the tops off, it's just take the valve off. Yeah, just get the, get the brass. Put the rest in the roll on, the roll off, skip, and um, get them to collect it when it's filled. And where are you going to park your car now that you'll have a skip parked in your uh, driveway? Hey, do you know what would be the funny bit is, right? Ian will come home from work in the evening, and they start taking stuff out of the skip that you were put in the skip the night before, because he can't walk by your skip without taking something out. <laughs> I've got blinkers. <laughs> <coughs> We'll see. Uh, it's be interesting. Welcome in. <laughs> hey, wannabe scrapper. Well, no, that's well, nice. That's that's nice now that you've got that sort of um, contact that you'll have a continuous thing, especially with brass. Uh, was it having like you, you so much brass in in that amount? It's it's kind of worth it. And then you still have the shred, and some of them will be aluminium, so you're going to have to separate them out, won't you? Some of them will be cast aluminium. Um, Fire yep. extinguishers as well. Yeah. So you're, you're gonna. It's a nice. It's a nice little um, bonus coming into the summertime for you to be working on. I think you've got to take these things as they come. It's like I, that, that electrician guy. That's yeah. kind of died off. You know, he was giving me a load every week. And no, nothing. So I think you've got to say, okay, whatever you get, it, it's good when you. Get it. But don't, don't bank on it. 
Yeah, you don't know. be don't be saying it's going to be a guarantee. Yeah, you can't start working out and going. Oh, I'm going to get two hundred pound a week off the finance. I'm going to get hundred pound a week off the electrician. I'm going. To, can't do it. But we yeah. might get nothing from anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's like um, he was Mike there. Like we say, when he he was collecting loads of stuff there for, and then came a while there, he was getting nothing for for a couple of weeks. He was having a bad week of not picking anything up. So I'm sure same as happened. Shark scrapper. These guys are doing a full time. Some weeks they can't keep up with what they're getting, and other weeks they're just like, mm, nothing's come in this week, or it's very, very slow, you know? Yeah, and, and did you see what, what EOA Mike is, is dealing with right now? All them, oh, all yes. them uh, screens. Oh, monitors. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my yeah, God. I put up, I put up a, a comment. I could see a lot of microscrapping ahead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm sure you appreciated that. Yeah. And he said a lot of them worked. I mean, what do you do there? Do you try and sell them? Well, I, don't think, I don't think anyone would buy them. That's the problem. You can buy yeah. monitors so cheap now and with guarantees, with warranties with them. A lot of people won't bother taking something, you know, that they're not going to buy something secondhand because there's no guarantee with it. And if different That's thing, it was, it was so expensive to buy a monitor now, but monitors are a lot cheaper than they were. It's years. like Curry's at the moment, they're selling a, what is it, 50, 55 inch 4K. TV, uh, Ultra HD, uh, 299 pounds. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. You know, like, what's the up, TV Grandpa Kevin? How are you? It's like you've had your ear cut or your ears lowered. No, no. <laughs> no, no. I've been, I've been doing this. Pushing my head up. Hang on. Let me see if it works. <clears throat> no. <laughs> Careful, man. You don't want to blow your eyeballs out. Hey, uh, Kevin, welcome in, by the way, Kevin. Good to see you, Thank sir. You. Thank you. And Ralph, have you had your cold shower after seeing oh. all them vintage PCs? No, I will do that later. <laughs> hey, Actually, our, our town, uh, Lee, you can look it up, has just opened a, uh, a retro PC museum. Oh, uh, well. In and Ooh. they've got all, all that stuff, and you can actually hands on and play with it. You need to go in and do a video of that for us, um, Ian. Yeah. 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 Tell somebody yeah. like he was. I can, I can basically put a sign on my door saying the same thing. I was thinking of going in and saying, Can I give you some stuff? You know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the stuff you have, hey, if, you, if you want to give away vintage PCs and vintage game stuff, you just need to give them to. Uh, He's well, glad to take all that vintage stuff. I've already put yes. a couple of PSPs to one side to send to Ralph. Oh, yes, By please. The time mine is... They will be definitely retro. Yes, mine is broken because I threw it at the wall. Uh, wow. Well, I've got two. One's perfect, no problem. Hey, Ralph, the other one... A new one. The other one, the disc doesn't read, but I'd, I'd act it anyway so it runs off... Uh, uh, memory cards. Yeah, mine did that too until my um, um, last save games, or all my save games from uh, God of War. I forgot which one, and I was playing on the hardest difficulty on my like fifth playthrough, and I was like one percent off of completing everything, and then everything crashed, and I had to start over, and then I threw it at the wall accidentally. And, and it, and very it hard. Like it was going to fix itself when you threw it at the wall, did you? Yes, and and now the thing it, it's open and it doesn't close anymore, and it's all it mangled. I the screen is okay the still. Computer, uh, that I believe the same thing has happened to you know beat up, yeah. dented up, bashed up. Yeah, gamers get really angry at those kind of things. Yes. <laughs> this this was a long time ago. Where you find the time to game? Well, Matthews, you won't Very have little. time to do anything when you get all these fire extinguishers. So, mm. <laughs> but I've know? I've cleaned I've cleaned up my most of my apartment. There's now so much floor; it's amazing. Okay, I not, think not I'll... in here because I moved most of it in here, but over there it's nice now. I think you, you might see the... see all the way up until the couch. Oh. I think you might be seeing me on YouTube on that the fastest workers. You know what I mean? Like. Um, I think it was more oh, chance yeah. of seeing you on I'm a hoarder, please help me. <coughs> <laughs> 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 
<clears throat> speak to your know, monitors. Here's uh, one I bought what, myself someday. What do I hoard? Oh no, everything. Okay, everything. Forget that. Forget that. everything. Uh, do they have a? Um, do they have a? I think uh, there used to be a show here in the U.S. called Divorce Court or something like that. Do they have something like that in the U.K.? Will we see Ian up on that? You never know. Uh, in in England, they don't really do courts. It's only you know you don't really see televised courts that much. It's getting a bit more popular, uh, but um, it, it's not like America where everything is televised. So, okay. but there may be there is programs where they they will. Um, in like and do real life live with the person and stuff like that and video their day i'd love to see an ian matthews day day in the life of ian matthews that'd be interesting well that'd be <laughs> boring for the first eight hours when i'm at work <laughs> Just push, push, push my, uh, mouth around. <laughs> you have to do an hour in the life of ian matthews that might take a day yeah <laughs> and put day. many people to sleep oh Oh, yeah. wounded, wounded. Boy, talk about hitting low. <laughs> Man, I had a bandage for that one. Hey, Ralph, that hit so low, yeah. I felt it. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Broad shoulders. I've been on YouTube long enough now that you know, these things just run off your back. Boats off. Yeah. off a duck <laughs> right, right. The skip. I do get, you know, people do ask me advice, not that I'm qualified to give it, but they say, they're going to go in on YouTube, what, what do you say? And I've said, don't go on if you're thin-skinned. Yeah, you're easily no. offended. No. You're easily offended. Don't expect to get rich. Yeah, yeah don't expect to get rich. But you will make some very interesting friends. Yes. Well, yeah, speaking sure. of interesting friends, what about my last trip to the Erd? A couple of characters on there, weren't Yeah, they? the, the yeah. older guy... Um, I was going to ask you about him in a second. The older guy, he didn't sure. really want to say much, but is he a full-time scrapper or is he just he's, like... He's he's the one whose yard I go to when I'm I'm coming home from work sometimes, oh. in that little yard. I and I say, I see what he's got. I think you had him in a video a while back before we went to visit him and yeah. he picked out some, some little trinkets out of his place. I'm always pinching stuff out of his yard. Ah, I recognise the place, all right. Does he know it? Yes, 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 yes. He's a mate of mine, Joe. That's, that's, that, that's why Ian gets those fantastic prices until he actually brings the stuff in. But I do, I do like the idea what Jed said. Go out with him for a day and film. Oh, yeah, that'd be interesting. Yeah. Oh, he's yeah. he's, he's, he's funny, him. Jed, yeah, he, uh, his, his joke. Oh. It wasn't that great of a joke, but the other guy was loving it. I knew it. Oh. I, I already knew the joke, but yeah. Well, there was a, there was, a, there was a, about a three-minute section in my video which I cut out trying to explain to you lot what Watsits were. Watsits, I thought, oh, yeah. Well, I know what Watsits are. I know what Watsits are. Yeah, so I cut it all out. I thought, they'll have to figure it out. I was going to buy a pack of Watsits today just for that reason. I said, I might buy a pack of Watsits when I was in the shop because I'm sure some, some people will be saying, what were Watsits? <laughs> I have no idea. What is What, what are you talking about? Uh, it was, it's like a crisp, but it's... Oh, I, it's that was all what I cut I'm like, it's a crisp. Oh, no. Over there, you don't call them crisps. It's, yeah. it's, it's a cheesy it's, puff thing that's bright orange. Uh, yeah. It's oh, like yeah, those things. Cheetos. 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 Yeah. Oh, okay. That's not these things. No. Similar. <laughs> Goldfish. It's yeah. like a cornstarch sort of um, treat. Cornstarch, that's <laughs> white. They, they glow in the dark. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Too much radium. And, and you'll have loads of these stuff stuck to your fingers afterwards. <laughs> yeah, it's called DNA. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's good to see. Uh, it's good to see Street Copper, uh, Street Copper Eleven back. So welcome yes, back, hello. Long see no and, time. And Moose Scrapper put a video out today as well. Yes, yes. the Moose is back. Oh. The moose is back as well. I have to go check out Moose's video. I didn't get the alert. Yeah. I wonder. If, I wonder if I had gotten accidentally unsubscribed. I'll have to go back in and check that. Yeah, Moose Scrapper. Well, I, I, I did. I did invite a guy. I copied you, you two in. Uh, I don't know if you look at your mentions, but uh, there was a new scrapper. I can't remember his name now. Uh, he'd only just started off. He'd only something like 
13 subscribers. All right. Uh, I'd have to look. I'd have to look at my comments. And I said, if, if you want to grow your channel, if you want to meet other scrappers, come come to Shirk on a you know and, and come to Scrapping Irish and meet all the other you know scrappers around the world. Yeah, well, that's Sorry. what I put up on my. Uh, my Sorry. My Sorry, around the disc. Around the yeah. disc. Oh, yeah, yeah. Around the disc. Yeah. Around the disc. Around the disc. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, but there's a lot of new scrappers popping up, which is great. I've seen um, who was the new scrapper that was in um, Scrapping on the Fly, I think it was, i seen tonight. Um, I hadn't met him before, yes. so that was yeah. a new scrapper. Um, so there's a lot of new scrappers popping up, and it's great to see the community getting bigger, which means the bigger it gets and the more people put out videos, the more our videos get promoted as well, because all of a sudden YouTube is saying, oh, there's a lot of scrappers and there's a lot of people looking at scrapping videos, so let's push the scrapping side of things, maybe. You know, so that's my theory on it, anyhow. The more, the merrier. But, you know, it's uh, the interesting thing about the algorithm and the, you know, the community is, you almost have to become a self-licking ice cream cone. Uh, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> well, I, actually, you've you hit the nail on the head there because it was scrapping on the fly. I've just checked my comments. All oh, right, there we go. Yes, so scrapping on the fly was in in Shark Scrappers live tonight, and yep. I subscribed to his channel then because I didn't know who. I, I said, "Oh, I just I hit subscribe. I put his video on play so that that it would stick." The, the, so, because no point subbing to someone and not watching any of their content because YouTube just removes it within a couple of days if you haven't well, watched. It them. Yeah, it hurts them. So, yeah, yeah. if you're going to subscribe, you need to watch some of their videos. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, I watched, I, I put on two of their videos and then I've added uh, some of their videos to a playlist. So, you know, eventually, if I sometimes when I'm at work, I'll put a playlist on of a rake of scrappers' videos and at least that way, then, even though I'm not technically watching the video, they are getting the watch time. Good. You know? That's what I do. That's actually good, yeah. yeah. Fishing frustrations. Hello. Fishing yeah, UK. Fishing frustrations I met over on Shark hey, Scrappers fishing. as well. So there, there's another guy um, that... I uh, find fishing very frustrating, guy. especially when I don't catch anything. But that's the thing about fishing is you have to have patience. Fishing teaches you to have patience, I found. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. micro scrapping teaches you to have patience. Well, yeah, but that's why I like micro scrapping. See, I liked fishing. I when I was younger. This is why, some days this you is why Mike so short tempered. Yeah, but you could you could go out fishing and fish all day from six in the morning till twelve at night, and you mightn't catch anything. And it's just the a way cold. it is. So you catch a cold. Catch cold, <laughs> yeah. Oh, but you get a nice you like uh, what is it? In the UK, you what? In the UK, you what? All from my main IT company. I pick up from. They have twenty foot truck, box truck full of equipment. Oh, that's like my dream to nice. get that amount of stuff. Nice. It's nice. They have a few minutes yeah, away. From the so, what are you going to do, electronic scrapper? Pick out the goodies and then sell the rest to board sort. Is it? No, he's going to send it down to Mike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Keep the good stuff. Mike, Mike have the monitors. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's more monitors. It's better to just just quickly flip the stuff. I picked up seven uh, in solar inverters the other day. Oh, nice. I made a phone call to someone who bought one off me previously. He said, "Yeah, I'm interested. Come down." I give him. I sold him in for the scrap price. He was happy. I didn't have to do anything. I got what I would have got if I had stripped them. So we were all happy. So it was just like, come down. And he bought them within an hour, took them all. <laughs> Pennies uh, in, was that pounds out. Yeah. I was he, at work. He's uh, going to make the money. He's going to mend them and sell them for, I don't know, a couple of hundred pounds each, probably. So, Ian, Ian a, a solar inverter. Is that, what, a pair of sunglasses or something? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, you saw it in the dark. It converts DC into AC. Hey, Optimus Prime. Right. was a really bad hey, Optimus Prime. <laughs> but I, really I was at work there yesterday, and the guy comes into work, and he walks hey. up to my counter, and he hands these a box on the counter at work, not anywhere else, with laptops and other electronic stuff in it for me. 
He said, I heard you um, I heard you take this sort of stuff. I said, I do. He said, okay. And they slapped it in and walked out again. <laughs> there you go. There you That's go. awesome, man. Well, yeah. that's the same as like everyday solace. She's got a drop off point at front of her house. Unless you've got a bin, leave your scrap here. Yeah, but well, if I if I had that if I had that here, the chances are I'd have a few of the um boys who go around and um the traveling go on the yeah, travel yeah, around. Chances are because there is a lot of them around in Ireland. We did export a few of them to England and other places, but there's a lot of them around and um they would, mightn't just uh, help themselves to what was outside. They might also help themselves to what's inside. <laughs> yeah, that's that. That would be a concern to have. Yeah. Yes. Although, yeah. so the Chris from Boardsort, uh, they have a bin at one of their locations, and he said it's amazing how much stuff shows up on their dock. Yeah, you know, people just drive by and leave it there. You yeah, know? Well, I suppose I, I drive by a charity shop, and when I drive by, usually on a Monday morning. There's a load of stuff left outside the uh, charity shop from the weekend for the charity, and no one, no one takes it, yeah. steals it. So, yeah. Oh come on, Grandpa Kevin, you're waiting for it to reach a thousand pounds, or no, 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 so no. I'm, I'm waiting until I have a thousand pounds. Yeah, that's so that's half a ton. Yes, that's correct. Come on, you should get that in a couple of weeks. Yeah, well, I have to take all those computers apart yet. Wait a minute, are these the computers that were in that van that got stuck in the snow that broke down? That About two years ago, we connected them. Yeah. <laughs> They're still in the van. They're still in the van, okay. <laughs> I made I made a pickup today. I went into Sparta, New Jersey and picked up from two different people. God, did you go and see Cake Boss? No. Oh. He's, he's not up this far. He's further south. He's in Hoboken so, area, isn't not he? Not New Jersey. We're only about your big, that big. Oh, New Jersey is huge. Oh yeah, yeah. Because I was going to go and visit someone in New Jersey. I was I was in Hoboken, and I said, "Oh, I'll go visit you uh, when I'm over." Door. And he sent me the location, and it was like a six-hour drive. I said, uh, "I don't think I'll be visiting you." <laughs> wow. You, Irish, you let me know when you're coming east, west, yeah. dude, and and I'll come east, and I'll meet you somewhere. We'll have a. Have a have a have a drink. A pint. A pint. A beer. Yeah. Maybe. Let you know. Yeah, but yeah. you know, Irish in New I'm, Jersey, six hours can only be a ten mile drive, depending upon right. where you are yeah, or what time. Well, true enough as well. But yeah, like you're gonna get through in Manhattan, in the Manhattan a, a six hour drive is probably a five minute walk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and and they're going to start doing congestion <laughs> pricing in Manhattan. No way. Yes. Yes. Oh man. Upwards of, upwards of $25 per day. What's that? You want to drive into lower Manhattan during certain hours. Oh, right. And it'll automatically hit your easy pass or they'll send you the bill by, by well, mail. They have that in London and they have it here in Dublin. Yeah. It's called a congestion charge. And if yeah. you want to drive at certain times in the city center, you pay a premium to drive in through it. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. yeah. It, it's shocking what. Sadiq Khan's done in London, though. I mean, he's just expanding it and expanding it, and it's now the entire district of London. Just normal people are having to pay. Yeah, so you know, I, I, I think it's anything inside the M50 in Dublin, or the what's it called? Not the M50. It's M50 in Dublin. What's the motorway that goes around London called? A bypass. M25, isn't it? M25. That's it. So you mean the car park that that. goes around London? The car park that goes around London. Goes around London, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> twenty five. Yeah, and uh, still, there's people saying like it's only if you've got an older vehicle that doesn't meet uh, the, the, the uh, emissions. Emissions, emissions. Yeah. But some of these people, if you're a white, if you're a plumber, electrician, you've got a white van. It's, it's fifty pound a day charges. Holy cow! Yeah, and that well, and that's why the plumber then has to add them charges on too when he goes to the person. That's all they'll do. They, They'll just put that on to you, your customers, won't they? Yeah, so when you get your boiler fixed, you're paying an extra 20 quid because of them charges. Yeah. That's right. And they'll actually make money on it because they'll add they'll add 20 squids to each one of the visits and, <laughs> you know, schedule seven visits. So, you know, they'll uh, they'll make 140, yeah. they'll take off 50. You know, they made 90 quid that day. The, the other side yeah. of it, Shaka, is course, what's your postcode? Nah, what comes here? 
Yeah, yeah. And then the people who won't get any <clears throat> tradesmen, so then they'll be looking out for cowboys. You know. And there's plenty of cowboys around. <laughs> Yeehaw! We come. We started calling them two chucks in a truck here. Two uh, chucks. Two, <laughs> two chucks in a truck. <laughs> they've done this thing where they've 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 uh, they've they've started uh, not requiring licenses for certain tradesmen, and every time they take a certain trade off of the licensing requirement, you get this explosion of two trucks and a chuck. You know, oh, and two trucks and a truck. And you get the same, you know, and you get the quality that you would expect from somebody who watched a few YouTube videos and all of a sudden now they're a roofer, you know, or they watched a few YouTube videos and now they're an electrician, you know, so. Yeah. We were on about that actually at work the other day because there was a few tradesmen in and we are talking and we were saying like, do you get much guys like, do you repair, he said, all the amount of work they have to go back and repair where cowboys go in and do a job. And he said like, he said, yep. He said, we'd be on a bit of site. One week, this crowd would be in and they'd be um, doing roofing. I said, then you go to a, a bit of site another week. And not, they're no longer roofers, these boys, but they're plumbers. And he said, then you go to another site in a couple of months' time and you see the same boys again and they're painters. He said, it's just like amazing how, how they keep changing from one profession to another. And then they put a sign on the truck that says, Jack of all trades, master of none. Master of none. <laughs> Yeah, it, it, it I've, I've, I've got some, uh, some, you know, some professional friends here in the area that they're, they said, yeah, we're, we're starting to get rich off of these guys because, you know, they'll go in and jack up the job and then I'll come in and what would have been, you know, a $150 job is now a $400 job because first I have to unmess what they yeah. did. Uh, yeah. I, I'm watching my language here for you, Irish, but uh, <laughs> fire extinguishers, huh? <laughs> well, there's hey, some left. Hey, go coast. There's some left somewhere. <laughs> uh, yeah. Have you ever run across two trucks that inspect fire extinguishers? Yes. <laughs> hey, hey, shark. What do they say? This is America. We can do anything. <laughs> <laughs> we may not be able to do it well, but we can do anything. <laughs> hey, hey, Mike. What up, hey, Mike? Mike? How's it going, man? Hey, Mikey. Hey, Mike, have you started microscraping them um, screens yet? Nope. Hey, uh, Chris from Bortsort was singing your praises about them nappies you sent him. I was listening to that fucking faggot while I was on the little truck. <laughs> You're not allowed to say them sort of things anymore, Mike. That's a bullshit because watch my videos. None of them have been touched. <laughs> that's, that's just a crack of crap, whoever told you that. <laughs> because all my videos will be gone. All my videos will be gone. I'm uh, sorry, YouTube. Make bro been a Mike's playing the IQ card. Hello there, Mike. <laughs> Double IQ card. How you, Ralph? Double IQ card. Hey. Hey, what's with the, Mike, what's with the orange, uh, the you know, with the prison uh, shirt there? Were you out picking stuff up today or something? He borrowed the one I have that says inmate. One, two, three. Oh, oh. yeah. Is that what they call a 12 pack? That's, that's, <laughs> no, that's, that's, that's ah. a case, buddy. That's a case, right? What do you call a keg? I'm not yeah, a keg. Back on steroids. Shark, shark has a keg. Yeah. Uh, I got a cat stuck in my food. Look at it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, Dad. Dad likes. Hey, Dad, you going to finish that pizza, Dad? You going to finish that there, Dad? Oh, get it. I want some chicken. Go ahead, man. Help yourself. I don't care. I'll wait. Chicken. <laughs> chicken. Chicken. Here, you want some of this, too? Here. Get some of that. Now you don't want no coleslaw? Man. I'll eat it. Coleslaw? <laughs> coleslaw on your pizza. That's real, man. Oh. So, Mike, what's the plan with all the monitors? I'll put a match to them. I don't know. I got a nice... I, I you build a wall of them and, and 
jiggery, my, jiggery my, pork. Feet, my feet got a little wet. He could do the whole inside of that garage with monitors, walls, ceiling, floor, everything. Turn them all on. Hand 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 and then the last box, the very bottom row was all curved monitors. There's 22. Oh, monitors. God. In the bottom. So I had a wow. my neighbor to help me get those because my shoulders are done. I'm, I'm okay. And, and um, are they all working monitors or are they all just broken monitors? Yeah, they're a mix. They're a mix. Once Mike touched them, they're not working. No, because I threw every one of them damn things. I, I, Mike, I cracked up watching your video you, when you said, yeah, I started stacking them and then I uh, hell with it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have time for that. Uh, so it took me from 1 o'clock till 5 o'clock yesterday and 10 o'clock till just now. I just finished. You just know, after the truck. So the argument. I think you get to that point, don't you? I mean, I, I get things in it. Oh, I'm, I'll, I'll keep that. I'll see if I can make get that work. I'll play with it. But now it's getting to the point where, it, well, it's free. It's coming. I'm breaking it up. It's got to go. And that way, once you've broke it up, you don't have to worry about whether it worked or not and what you could have done with it. Yeah, and you the video. I, tried fix something. I tried to fix a screen on one of my videos. Have you seen? I tried to fix something and with the amount of effort I put in and it still didn't work at the end, I've decided never, ever, ever to try and fix something. It's just going to be scrapped out. That's and it. I, I had three I of that. these. One broke down. I tried to fix this one. Now I'm scrapping it. I get all kinds of feedback, though, in my comments where people say, oh, you should have fixed that. You could have sold it for $500 and, you know, the, that kind of stuff. You <laughs> wait 10 years to sell it for $500 and they yeah. didn't have to give it at a discount. Did you see the name underneath my name? Yep. Uh, I, I, did you see the name under mine? I put down the boss on mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, hey, you now got a sub name? Yeah, yeah, you can get a sub name now. Yeah. See? Monitor God, he's called. How do you do that? And I'm called the boss. Well, see, let's see. The boss. Scrapping <laughs> Irish. I'm, name and headline. I'm going to dethrone oh. you right now, so you have to change your name, because I'm the boss. Oh, okay. I'm going to put up on my now, not the boss. Not, <laughs> not the boss. I'm going to have to change mine now, because of that. So, the grand total was 964. Play that there number. Pick three, five, six, four. I don't play the lottery. Let somebody else play it. Then they can <laughs> laugh at you when they win. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like it, Ralph. Ralph is looking for a date. <laughs> you play it. <laughs> yeah, scrap it, Ralph. is single. Hey, see, so you, you can teach a dog all, all dog goo tricks. How, how did you guys put that? Whore, whore in the shed. <laughs> oh, order. My eyes are bad. I'm sorry, sir. I'm going to have to change mine now because um, if you go into if you go into uh, the brand or I don't know what it is for the for the um, other guys in there, but if you go into, where did you change that? Um, I, oh, I've turned it off. Hold on. When, when I was in a studio before I, I came in. Off. In the studio, yeah. Sorry, I just hit the wrong button there. I turned it off. Yeah, when you go to make sure your camera and all that crap works, it'll have your name and then underneath it. Yeah, and then you can change it in there. I can't change it now because I have... So anyway, how are I we all miss. doing on a short monitorization? Um, well, it just, it just monitorizes them as automatically if you've selected it, doesn't it? So yeah. If you yeah, just put a short up, it monitorizes straight away. And it's only just started. I mean, you know, it, yeah. it started on the first of February. So you know, I'm so I'm so skeptical. The, the came out shorts. You did a shot. You got thousands of views. Thirteen thousand views overnight. Yeah. Right. Now they're monetizing it. You do a shot. You get four hundred, five hundred. Hey, I'm if like, I got five hundred, I'd be happy. <laughs> hey, nicely done. Welcome in. Um. <clears throat> no, I was. Uh, there were some folks that were talking about it the other day, and they were, you know, they were saying that, you know, some folks like I've only made about two cents uh, on shorts, but it's only been monetized for a few days, so you know, you got to let it run for a while. And, well, know, the way, the way I look at anything you get out of YouTube is just like a bonus, isn't it? Because I've been yeah. doing YouTube anyhow. So it doesn't matter if I if I don't make anything, I'm still doing YouTube. If I get two cent for a short, I get two cent for a short. Uh, I'm still going to put that. It's, it's, I, I, 
when I started YouTube first, I probably would have been more motivated by money, thinking, oh, this is going to be, I always say this, this is going to be a money maker. But as time has gone on, I've discovered that YouTube is more about showing people what I do and meeting people who are into the same sort of thing as I am, into scrapping and a, that stuff, you know? Well, there's ways and there's ways and means to make money on YouTube, and that is not what we do. It's either yeah. do a tutorial on how, how to mend a washing machine, how to mend a Hoover, how to mend something on a car, do a game that's got Minecraft in the title, or something else, and that, that's the way you know. Or pretend be a bloke, an old bloke. Pretend that you're a kid and do voiceovers on opening toys, and they seem to make a lot of stupid. Or do you know, I, I don't. I don't think they make a lot anymore because of the new rules with the um, with the where for you know uh, made for kids and not made for kids. So you're not allowed to advertise anymore on videos that are designed for kids to be viewed. So once where they're opening toys and stuff, don't get don't get the money they used to get right. either. So, okay. you, know? you, know, you know what I get from YouTube? A tax, oh, a tax form. I'm about here, a whopping five bucks a month. <laughs> yeah, well, thanks. the guy who came around here and bought them inverters, uh, he's got a channel. He's 42,500. So... Biggish, but not massive. See what um, see what Optimus Prime put in. We was talking. Do an Arby drill review. <laughs> <laughs> and he was saying he earns fifteen grand a year on uh, off YouTube. Fifty grand a year. Fifteen one With five. With forty-two somewhat. Fifteen. Yep. Okay. There's but he a... does all, <laughs> all his videos are like how to change a switch on a Hoover. How to change a belt on a washing machine, how to change a belt on a dryer. And he puts so he might do 20 videos how to change a belt hey, on a washing out. machine, but the 20 different washing machines. Simple man, how do? Hey, hey hello. Welcome, Welcome up. Thank you very much. I'm not talking to simple man. Why? What does simple man do to you? Nothing. Money. He flashed him. <laughs> it's, it's his turn. Yeah, it's his turn. Yeah, <laughs> his name came out of the hat today. <laughs> oh, hey, I should tell you, you don't want to wait to the scrap yard on Friday. They said, You know, all that black wire you weighed in. I went, I went, Yeah, he said it got returned. So they'd sent it to the whoever they oh. sent it to, and they'd sent it back saying, Not you know, we don't want this. Not exactly. Uh -oh. <laughs> did they give it back to you? <laughs> yeah, well, no, I did. You took it out of your pocket and handed it back to them. I did right. offer to strip it for them, but uh, he said they wanted a refund. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like it just shows they've got someone who monitors what they take in as well. Mm -hmm. you know. But just like what yep. Chris said there about when he buys the boards and stuff like that, um, it's six months before he gets payment from them boards because he has to sell them on to someone else. Mm -hmm. And that someone else then obviously has to grade them and make sure that and pay him accordingly. So I'm sure it's the same with some scrapyards. They have to sell on to a bigger fuck to, to make their money on it. Yeah. So, you know, it's... it's, it's <coughs> what price is it going for at the end? Eventually, who's the fuck selling it into the processing plant? That's the guy that's, that we need to find out who he is and sell direct to him. <laughs> you know, it's interesting because we have a... Uh, here where I live, we have a steel mill that's making rebar, and it, that um, that they also have a scrapyard, so they pay the best for uh, tin shred, and they have multiple categories of steel, uh, HMS one, HMS two, you know the whole deal, uh, because they will actually use it in their foundry to make rebar. And I found out that all the other scrapyards in the area are selling the steel to them. So hey, Paul, it, it just it comes down to, is it worth me driving uh, 55 miles to this scrapyard to make a little bit, you know, an, another five cents a pound? Or am I going to eat that up in gas just to get to them? Uh, yeah, but, well, that, yeah. you know, that's that's a perfect Maybe. example of. You know that's the end buyer they're they're the end user of that scrap and they're driving the price for shred 
in this area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, it's the same, the same, which I'm sure there's an in buyer for brass. You know, Give brass that we say, see, Matthew's there, when he takes that brass part out of the fire extinguishers, <laughs> he sells it to a scrapyard. His scrapyard will sell it out to someone else. And eventually that end up someone selling that to a scrap brass refinery place where they're making new brass fittings. And yeah. then well, we're buying that and it down and making new fittings. I yeah. take it to the anvil yard, but I could e equally take it to EMR in Manchester. <laughs> But the, that's a that, that's a thirty mile round trip. Um, brass fittings? Did somebody say brass fittings? Yes, brass fittings. That's, yeah. that's a bit tiny. It is. Yeah. <laughs> it was funny. They they brought the oops. I um I, I bought a new refrigerator, and um, they finally showed up yesterday to make the delivery, and and uh, you know it. Uh, like it yeah i ordered it the 25th of november um <laughs> and and um you know i had to pay for a new hose and fitting and uh, the guy you know i said well, well there's nothing wrong with the hose and fitting that's right there and the guy said yeah but if we use that one then it voids the warranty on the refrigerator and the ice maker and the water dispenser because you know that one could fail and like it's the same thing that's on the freaking wall right now. I, said, I know, but rules are rules. And so, so I ended up having to pay another 10 bucks for them to, to you know, use a brand new brass fitting. And, and I guess your revenge war to give them back the old one. Well, and the guy, and the guy starts to roll it up to put it in his, in his, you know, in his, in his kit. And I said, "Oh no, 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 that <laughs> hell yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> that brass is good. That. <laughs> That's my thingy. That's my come on, uh, Sharky. I do that uh, daily basis. Every time when I go to the car workshop or whatever, I get some extra plumber visiting my and helping me out. I said, okay, no, I, no, I, it does not go away." Put that thing aside. I'm gonna clean it up for you. That's mine. That's mine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. I, that that could be a lot of fun making a video behind hey, I, I hey, see bro, people. Come in. I see peeps who use hey, that bro. material and make glasses out of it, and then scrape over the first shield of your screen, so you can basically. See widescreen. If you wear the glasses, you can see everything like on the screen. That's right. Yeah. Let's take out too. the diffuser. Yeah, that's called diffuser. Exactly, Grandpa Kev. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, um, Mike, why did you have to take two of the blue pills? You got a date tonight? One of premium. Oh, okay. come on, Mike. One is not, not, not strong enough to, to live the Mike. Mike. <laughs> Mike. Mike has a date with a fig on Prune Street. It's not oh. working. No, it's not yeah. working for you. Wrong, wrong piece, Ian. Wrong, wrong piece. piece. <laughs> Here it goes, Ian. Ah, uh, no. But Stay there. No, okay. don't, pull it, don't pull it out the ceiling. Stay there. Yeah, Mike's going to cramp up his right arm. What? With what seat? Maybe. He wants a little more stiff movement tonight. Oh, yeah. okay. Right. Let's get back on just scrap talk. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what sick, goes up must come down. Uh, <laughs> after dealing with Eber yesterday, I don't know. I'm get your mind out of the gutter. Not before today's. Uh, no, not before how today's. Many, how many, past <laughs> with two pills. How, how many laptops have you scrapped out this week? This week? week, I don't know. Last Three maybe. Laptop. Last week, that last yeah. week was more. That was five, maybe maybe seven. So you already have seven thousand more to go. Ah, about three thousand fifty nine and half <laughs> and two screens. <laughs> did you see the Something picture like of that. all the fire? Did you see the picture of all the fire extinguishers, Mister Ian Matthews is getting? Yeah, I did saw it, and to be oh. honest, I even tried to give like little count and estimate how much that could be. <laughs> that was all there's 32 pallets of them. Holy scrap, Ian. And how many on average per pallet? Let's have a look. Uh <laughs> how many's in there per pallet? <laughs> well, I don't know. He's told, he's told me there's eight hundred. 
You know, I'm not sure if that was one layer on palette. It seems like one, but I'm not sure. All I did, I zoomed in and see, saw which ones had the great big brass nut on top. You know, like, <laughs> oh, yes. <clears throat> so how much did anyway, it will be some income for sure, though. Question is, yeah, uh, well, I I've, I've, already I've, got the... I've done some rough calculations. Oh. And there's 3.2 ton of shred or of the actual bodies. Uh, mm -hmm. And actually, there's 600 and f 640, 160 kilos of brass. So it worked out. It was like 640 pound each, actually, just coincidentally. So, so 1,200 quid. 1,300 quid, yeah. yeah. So you know how good me and Ian yeah. is at math, so uh, take a little... Uh, for it. The trouble is, as I start flooding the scrap yards with brass, the price is going to plummet. You know what I mean? Yeah, but don't forget, some of them are going to be aluminium as well. So, yeah, that will change the price value. <clears throat> but yeah. come on, Ian, with that amount, the price, if it drops uh, during the next few weeks, uh, that doesn't oh, gonna sure. bother you anyway. It's it's still going to be on plus. Well, yeah, if you're getting them free, definitely a plus. So, ah, just, you know, store it until. Come on, take it easy. He's probably not going to make no money on it because after the uh, divorce is final, yeah. <laughs> He's done. So I've got a plan. I've got a plan. I'm going to hide them behind the bins. She'll, you're going to have to come. You're going to have to come. <laughs> he me. doesn't have big, big enough bins, Ian. Come on. He's been hiding them behind his neighbor's bins as well. <laughs> For the whole, yeah, all the down the street. Yeah. All street, exactly. Down the street. <laughs> Here. I read they sold the rebar uh, plant there. Okay. U.S. Mike, after those blue pills, I don't want to stand my back in my computer monitors. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, it's a nice. If you get something for free, you'll always make money on it. You know, as long as you don't have to buy anything on eBay. Is that right, Mike? <laughs> Especially <laughs> memory, right? <laughs> Especially memory. <laughs> You know, I actually holding myself to visiting scrapyard because every time when I stop by, I see like one pallet, two pallets, what I want to get. And after I get it, I'm happy and excited. And after all, I find out, hey, come on, I doesn't have enough time to deal with it. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what I say. Like if you you so that's what I said about the laptops. You've so many laptops there already. And if you go to a scrapyard to bring in some steel or something, you end up coming back with more laptops again or more. No, I I, I holding myself. <laughs> don't do not take any laptops. Do he not has got laptops not allowed. Oh, oh. Otherwise, it's got like i7 or something, or that can be repairable or useful. That's only ex uh, expectation. Ex don't, don't mention repairable again. I tried my one attempt at repairing something, and come on, don't I give up, Irish. One of that's it. That's it for me. I tried my one attempt. Ten may go down, but one will be you know success, success, and then you will be satisfied. Of it. Uh, no, scrap it out. It's easier. <laughs> yeah, it is easier, but it's uh, repairing is give you more. Uh, how we call it? Satisfaction. Satisfaction. Not only. Yeah. Kind of. Kind of. <sighs> kind of. You ain't kind of Just a little fun. How black my hands are from digging through these bits, pulling out little um, relays so I can get the watch call off them. The uh, silver. Because Mike likes micro scrapping so much, I said I'm going to do that. And I wish you'd have bust in that, buddy. <laughs> and then even oh. pulling out all these little copper windings, and at some stage I'll unwind them. Hit them right. Yeah. <laughs> You'll unwind them. <laughs> Whenever I get, uh, to be honest, I do getting into those uh, tiny relays uh, because uh, there's chance you got the golden uh, uh, contacts on it. But oh, as far as I, I rip off the either silver or golden contacts, I just drop the this little coils into the engine bucket. Yeah, no, well, these but, ones are all, all just silver contacts on them. There's no gold contacts on these relays. I, That's the bad well, relay. That. Yeah. Just silver. Well, Chris and Boardsort didn't answer my question. I was a little upset about that, even though I was in and out. I asked, no him, if, I asked him if he bought monitors. I didn't get a response. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> He's trying to <laughs> but not answering you. Oh, Ian, I've seen electronics comment. 
I can tell you right, a couple I'll... messages on my phone with him <laughs> today. <laughs> Half of these two. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> bros. Welcome, sir. Uh, yes. Well, she's smart, my wife. You'll wait till I've, cle I've cleaned them all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, it's... um. You, you can't sometimes you can't just uh, turn down something like you know it's going to be a lot of work or you know it's going to be a long time to clear through through but you, you just can't turn it down because the next time they mightn't offer you anything so you have to take it when it's there all right mr matthews well i've always said that the, the next time they'll just go oh we didn't want it last time so maybe he's not interested i'll give it someone else and they might have something really good you want it, you know. So this that's guy, why I never. I, that's why when the guy the guy came in with the laptops to me the last day, I I didn't really want them because laptops are a pain. But I wasn't going to say no because now he might next time he might come with something better, you know. So now he knows I take stuff. He's going to come with the tablets better. next time. No, he, he might come with a he might come with an attic load of printers, big printers, oh. big printers, <laughs> or monitors. Or monitors. <laughs> hey, come on. At oh. least he didn't pay for them. <laughs> no, this guy here, he bugged me since November because he wanted to sell these monitors. He wanted a dollar a piece. I said, good luck. And I, I tried to explain to it. I said, they're not worth nothing. I said, there's nothing really in them. Yeah. He said, well, my buyer, yeah, my buyer's, uh, you know, not buying them right now because I think they, he, his buyer ships them overseas or whatever. So then he tried again. He tried again the you know last week. Now I was like, I'm gonna tell you right now, they're not worth. They're six cents a pound, and I couldn't get <clears throat> them all at once. I said, so I can only do, you know, a hundred at a at a shot. You know, the scrapyard don't want them all at once because of the plastic, which is you know I call them made sure. You know, so, like, there was uh, a good market for the screens at at some point, like a few months ago, but that was only the self screen, not the whole monitor, just yep. the self screen. Uh, if it's the right model, uh, it is expensive <coughs> as, as a new, and if you can uh, get it like secondhand, that's, that's like right. at least half price. Yeah, exactly yeah. that thingy. But problem with that, if they are secondhand, then in most cases are scratched or broken, or it's quite hard to transport this thingy. That's the big issue with them. Ralph, I came you in the house. Really good money, but one more today. You cannot I guarantee this high you're going to reach the you know destination with one piece. Yeah, but it's just um. I had another guy. He used to buy the monitors off of me, and he had a climate controlled uh, storage unit. It was a, a twenty by forty, and this thing was full. And he was shipping mm. them overseas, and all of a sudden his buyer just quit buying them, just stopped. So he was stuck with all this crap, and he's like, "You want them?" I'm like, "Nope." I said, "Hey, that's 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 Hey, scrap me a that, That's probably yeah. exactly where the old uh, mark, secondhand market break up, because mm -hmm. most of the screens comes out like defected. As yeah, you as you yeah. buy the new PC, is in plastic case and flamingo and and styrofoam and uh, pop box. So there is nothing to damage that thing. If you try to send this just straight uh, flat screen, crap. That's ninety nine percent going to get damaged. Yeah, that's um, what the that, that computer store I got those off from. Because they do a lot of online stuff, mm -hmm. so, so they got the bubble wrap and the, the the form, you know, the forms that you slide the like the monitors into, you know, it's just a yeah. slot, and then they bubble wrap it, and you know, they send it all out. I mean, the guy does a ton of business, a ton of business. One of his scrapper is saying, "What does it cost to rent a truck there?" So I don't know. Does he mean in America or where? What he does? So one of his scrapper, where? where do, what do you mean? What does it rent to rent a truck? Is that for Mike? Because he rented a truck there lately, so it might be him. That I, have, I have an answer for that, but I want to make sure it's for me. Yeah, but speaking to what yeah. you've just said there, Mike, what, what do, do you keep your bubble wrap? I, I do. Oh. Ian Matthew, <laughs> what is wrong with you? No. It, Put it, it on the floor so when he falls off the bench. Right. <laughs> <laughs> It'll come in handy sometime. Yeah, it will come in handy. It will come like handy the, next week. Like, like the Andy basket you stole that's there behind you. That will come I in handy. I have four sometime. garbage bags full of the stuff. Hey Dan, how are you? Hey, hello, Dan. Hey, Dan. Uh, that, hello, is, Dan. that is for you, uh, Mike. By the way, yeah, for Ooh. Mike. Mind your own business. <laughs> <clears throat> you knew that was coming, right? 
I knew that was coming. <laughs> so yeah. because I'm a little nicer than Mike, I'll show you. I just put in the uh, chat what Penske is charging me for a box truck that I'm getting tomorrow. So there you go. Wannabe Scrapper, he's getting charged. Wannabe Scrapper, I'm paying 150 a day plus 36 cent a mile for a 16 foot box with lift gate at Penske. There we go. So mine was 26 foot, um, $40 a day. I got it for two days. But then, you know, I, even though I was only going, you know, a few miles, I always buy the insurance for it, which was like 40 some bucks. You never know when an idiot's going to slam hey. into you. And uh, the mileage is uh, 99 cents a mile. But I only lot, put like 20 miles on the truck, so. Can you lot see me? Yes. We can see you. If you, if you move. It's because I've gone. I've, I've I've disappeared from the. I've disappeared from the. And, and I've gone you. down. Here. I've gone down here. <laughs> that is I'm weird. I'm not Don't there anymore. We can still see. Out of the box, Ian. You're out of the box. Yeah, get back in your box. I've got. <laughs> oh, the, 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 I need a new monitor. I, Anyone I, got I any? Anyone who got any new money? Any monitors? <laughs> I've got a nice twenty-seven inch uh, Dell. <laughs> oh crap! I broke. My shooting my nose, third one. Um, Mike, have you hit your nose? Yeah, I do. It's his mustache under here, you know. Oh, he's okay. <laughs> so that truck probably it, it was one hundred and sixty-four. Uh, let's see, whatever the mile miles were ninety-nine a mile. So I only went. Maybe twenty miles, so probably hundred and ninety bucks. I'm all said and done, and I didn't burn any fuel, so you know I'll just put a little bit of fuel in it. Um. So, Shark Scrapper, why are you wrenching the truck? What are you planning on getting? He's going to get some monitors for me. <laughs> <laughs> right. well, something very great big, big, great big stuff to pick up tomorrow. I really need to be picking a shark. Just tell him to wait, tell him to wait for the video, Shark, like he tells you. <laughs> I know what it is, and I'm not saying. I know what you're going to pick it up. Uh, 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 what do they call it? Super Blue, an IBM supercomputer. But I could be bought. <laughs> <laughs> could be bought. Ski Waste Mike knows all, tells most for the right price. Right. <laughs> 20 euro to his PayPal, and he uh, and the information would be spent. Oh, it's going to be more than $20, just now. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, it's gone nine o'clock, so I'm going to love you and leave you. Hey, Matthews, this could be your last time seeing you alive because right. once the fire extinguisher has come, <laughs> I say there could be trouble. <laughs> yeah, it was nice knowing you, Ian. It was nice knowing you, Ian. And well, at I'm least he's not going to be on fire. I'm going to leave all. <laughs> I'm following right. you there, Kevin. Oh. Kevin, thanks, thanks for popping up as well. Appreciate you coming. I'll let Kevin. you know. To, watch for the video tomorrow night. Just just a little one, little video. A little if video. you survive. <laughs> <laughs> Ian going to spend the night. Oh, Ian going to start a new channel. Surviving one. Living in the shed. Yeah. <laughs> well, <I'm gonna> <laughs> <up there. laughs> MBA, not, not, you know, alone in Appalachia. Might be like, Ian, alone in the shed. Yeah. <laughs> Man in the shed takes on a whole new meaning suddenly. That's right. <laughs> bubble wrap. You're gonna need it. <laughs> He's well, be wrapped, up, be wrapped up with a bubble wrap, trying to keep warm. There you go. Don't discard it yet. <laughs> I'll catch you all later. Bye, all right. bye, everyone in chat. Bye, y'all. Have a good Take night. Care. Take care, you. Have, have a good one. Have a good night. Kevin <laughs> Godford, <laughs> Denise. <Didn't he? laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, at least there's nice a there. big sheet of aluminium in one of those. But heavy other than that, that, not much. Is it light or heavy? No, nah, this. Nah. It's not much. Right, I'm cutting my what, camera off. I don't have to see that, Ralph. No. no. What, 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 what will this be? I don't know. 100 grams, maybe, at the most. I don't know. Somebody told me that all those monitors have uh, the aluminum wrapped around them. I was like, yeah, like, I'm going to sit there and do that. Well, this one also came with a stand. All right. This is. Well, that, right, that'd so be handy, Mike, if they're aluminum wrapped in the monitors. At least you get something value. See what's in here. Oh, no, like the, I don't think so. Like what the glass is. You know, you have the case. Yeah. yeah. You know, just uh, 
when you take the plastic off, you have the metal, you know, oh. screen. So a lot, a lot of times those are uh, aluminum, but I'm not gonna sit there and take all that. That's like you just said, it don't don't weigh enough. Yeah, but if you have enough of them, it weighs something. You see, people go, oh, if it's one off. Yeah, there's yeah, a lot of work to get that out. If you have hundreds of them, then it will weigh a bit, you know? I'm not doing it. <laughs> Coke on your Coke. I'm not doing it. I know this is stuff I bought Coke. myself at some point. <laughs> He's already it's got eight days brings worth of to my eye to just, scrap it. Just to take, you know, get the bare minimum out of those things. Yeah, I mean they're they're yeah you know, low peripheral boards and low grade, and one high grade board. You know, is that strip you know finger card on the yeah, monitor. finger strip. <clears throat> but that's nine hundred and some finger strips. Yeah. So again, it adds and, up. And actually, it's uh some of those like those those curved screens, they probably don't have nothing in them. You know, they're all just you know garbage. I mean, they probably you know power board just probably a little board, but it's like the bigger the TV, the less stuff that's in them. Yeah, yeah, yeah it seems like weird. it. Yeah. Hmm. Unless it's one of those projection TVs. Oh yeah, you can get them rare projection. But TVs. you don't get a lot of those anymore. No. No, they. I believe they stopped producing them at 2016 or something. Yeah. Well, they, they were, were only in production for a short time, and they didn't TV. sell very much. Yeah, but the they have good uh, quality, right. you know, picture, but you know, consumption consumption of energy and uh, material that was way too big for the price what they can sell. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Plus, they weighed a ton. Oh, yeah. True. Yes. <clears throat> and and they took them a lot of space it, because they were still like this, this deep. And they were like this size. But that put out the you know, whole uh, machine into the working because you got to have special uh, hinge to hang it on the wall. The, the standard one does wasn't good enough because those bagger yeah. were heavy as hell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> plenty alloy in it, plenty heat sink, a lot of copper, PCBs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The worst of the new monitors is getting rid of all the plastic when you break them down. The amount of plastic you have to get rid yeah. of. That's, That's why cool. most of these are, they look like they're all snap together ones. I'm yeah. just going to snap the thing back, you know, just take the back one off, take the stuff off, and put the plastic back on. Snap it back together, yeah. And shred it. I used to do it uh, with all of them. Oh, Keep the cover. Back. Drop the screen, get the guts out, and screw it back together. Yeah, I, I used to do that with the old CRTs. Open the back, take off the uh, copper yoke, uh, take off the low grade board, um, any other bit of copper, the the degaussing wire, take it off, screw back on the back, and bring it to the um, local recycling yard, and they used to take them away for free. I do the same with the laptop monitors as well. You know, I just put them back together, just hey, get the tiny little board, and that's it. Except they are allocating, like I played yesterday. <laughs> you got two kind of alu on some point, and then oh yeah, I have it still here. So you got <coughs> actually alu shield outside. That was HP. And under that you got another alu piece. Actually magnesium, but still go as alu cast alu oh, right yeah so yeah. alu cast alu and <laughs> these two together and look how much effort and force i got to put in to take it out yeah anyway did you, did you see um rafael there where um chris was showing his all his stuff i said it was like he was in the space station with you <laughs> I thought, he was yeah. there I thought he'd gone to the space station. <laughs> you know, to be honest, uh, I've I seen that, and I do like that uh, setup, what he got. Yeah. I probably got not as much as he got, maybe 30% of that. But, yeah, I doesn't have it displayed. And, yeah, yeah I do nice. like that setup. Saying. It was a nice display of all the old computers. It looked really cool, you know? Yeah, and actually, that was nice of him. Then he started them all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That does give extra effect yeah. to it. Yeah. Pretty you know, cool I meant stuff. to ask him what was his favorite Atari game, and I forgot. Um, that would have been interesting, you know, yeah. if it was one of the fancy later ones or just one of the basic ones. But Maybe next time. Come on, one hour, it's not a lot of time, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That flew yeah. by really quick. Well, yeah. I, did, I did offer Shark extra time. I said, Shark... I'm willing to go later if it suits, but Jack didn't take me up on the offer. 
I left my phone in the garage. Hey, come on, Iron. Uh, Shark is different than all of us. Uh, he it's also pay attention to someone's time. Yeah, but I'm not no like we. Then. <laughs> yeah, but I, we I, I no problem. Never an interview going on like that, and Shark whoever wants to eat into eat into my time. I have no problem doing doing less time. Think of it this way: I don't have to deal with um with Jeezy as much then less time with you. I, was, I didn't think, want to see you. I didn't want to see you on your own, mic. I just tried to involve everyone else. I got. A, I got a tough skin. I can take it, but I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah. Well, I also. Gone, had, I was also it. trying to be uh, respectful of Chris's time. You know, it's yeah, well, Sunday. It's now yeah, work day for him. Yeah. 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 No, but never mind. It was very, very interesting. Like, because I said I talked to Chris was about three years ago. I'd say I had him up for an interview. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two, I remember that. Maybe four years ago now, but ah, um, uh, two years ish. I'd say it's more than that it was definitely before it was definitely before I think I had him up before um for before COVID came and COVID oh, is yeah. two years. Yeah, right? three years then. Oh yeah. Dang. Yeah, it goes quick like. Um so that's what that's what you do now is like pre COVID and <laughs> post COVID. <laughs> post COVID. <laughs> yep. You know, that's how you judge time now. Post COVID and pre COVID. But um, uh -huh. it was definitely pre COVID time when, when I had Chris up. And it and it's um Pretty cool to see uh, how the business has grown for them as well, because you can tell that they're a busier company now than they were a couple of years ago as well. And and um, well, it's just a bit. It, 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 it's re good. The reason why I, I always wonder why they didn't want to expand into other parts. And it's true what he said. Like if you expand in, you're adding more costs. You're adding you're 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 lowering your profit margin, stuff like that. And you're adding more staff, and you're adding more insurance and bit premiums and stuff like that. So it. It, that's one of the reasons why they've never expanded into other places, you know. Yeah. Holy crap! I, it it passed so same time, and I didn't grow and didn't have. I still got not enough time. How that could be? <laughs> you know, it's not like um, it's not like say a restaurant where you can franchise the restaurant and open up locations in a hundred different spots. Um, yeah, because you know they can buy good food and produce locally, and the shipping costs are so big, and there's no real consolidation of effort. He'd have to, you know, he's essentially opening up a brand new facility somewhere else in the country, and then he's yeah. almost competing with himself because people won't be shipping boards to him; they'll just take it to that location. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. yeah. Did you miss yeah. me? Uh, I'll wait. Like a oh, I don't know. Were you gone? No. Oh, okay. But um, yeah, no, it's true. Like then you're competing against yourself in another location. That's exactly what you're doing. But um, yeah, and it's good that he he said people from Canada can send down their um their stuff by post as well. If they've and as he said there, pick the best stuff. Don't be sending your low grade boards and and stuff like that. Pick your best. Like CPUs or your RAM or whatever, and uh, send it down, and and he'd pay by PayPal or by check. So I have a um, pile of RAM to send. Well, he was saying he was saying it's it's um well, what I can gather from him was that it's grand for Canada because the customs don't they don't have a customs issue. But I'd say if you're sending from Europe or anywhere else bar Canada, you will have customs issues. From what I can gather, the way he said it, you know. That customs might have a issue with it. Hello, Dijon. Sorry. Because customs considers it considers it hazardous material. Yeah. In most cases, if it involves batteries or something like that, or e waste. Self e waste, not really, but if it's uh, like battery in it, yeah, definitely. Oh, motherboards, all that crap. They consider. So when yeah, when, the, Shark was, when Shark was talking about his copper and all that shit, wasting time, you know, I sent Chris a message. Hold on, hold on. There we go. Did you fall asleep listening to this bubbling <laughs> bubble? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, to be honest, I also put like a little comment about Sharky being so excited by those all the all this event. <clears throat> you seem like brighten up. Come on, buddy. You get into it, really. So yeah, well, Mike, I, I found it interesting. Hey Mike. I didn't this say it wasn't his friend. Didn't I just see Sharky excited, very excited. <laughs> I appreciate it. Ralph, this one's for you. I mean, Raphael, this one's for you. Wow. Oh, wow. 
shooting you compliment fishy yeah, bugger sure. i'm gonna get you back for that no worry about okay. that okay <laughs> Actually, that idiot he texted me at time did he text me this morning <laughs> Uh, what did I text you? No, you talking me, Chris. Oh, call me an idiot. You, you, you yeah, usually man. call me something worse. <coughs> you texted me at like eight o'clock this morning. You're just making sure you're awake. <coughs> hey, it's a bank holiday weekend here over in Ireland as well, so we got an extra day off work. Brilliant. Congrats. Oh, here's what I told him. Lucky I told him I, I said I got about a thousand, a thousand monitors coming tomorrow. I'm going to bring them down to you. Are you going to give me a dollar a pound or do I have to go around the back? And his response, no need to go around back. You bring a thousand monitors here and you'll get fucked up front. At least he's honest. Oh, here you go. He texted me at, oh, I don't have a time. I don't have it. 7.54 this morning. Get your hands out of your underwear. <laughs> and get that truck load at 10 a.m. Monday. We'll be here before you know it. I said, out there in a minute. And you never knew he had a camera in your bedroom, huh? <laughs> yeah, I don't trust him at all. <laughs> That's why I stayed here with the, 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 case, the case sticking out and uh, little Willie. Did, no, you watch, I, uh, did anyone watch um, Moose Scrapper's new show yet for his plan? I, I have it on hold because I started watching it and then Sharky went live, so I, I paused it. Well, I have it on hold, but I haven't watched it. Watch it. He that seems, was very nice of you. Be, a live stream, pausing down. a live stream is a bit, you know, yeah, like pausing a video is okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, his, his plan is to do more reselling and stuff like that and show us what he, how he does his reselling and what he sells and stuff like that, which would be interesting for anyone that wants to kind of get into reselling stuff. Yeah, it is. I to I, I can't do it. Oh, well. Good luck mm -hmm. with it. <laughs> yeah, no, reselling over here is a pain. I don't know what it's like in America, but reselling anything over here is a pain because you're going to have box people buying stuff whinging that it, it just to do what it's meant to do blah 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 and dealing with all that crap well he, yeah, used, to big, of, he used to do a lot of reselling in the past too so uh, you know yeah. i mean i you know if you're if you're focused on it then it's probably not that big a deal but i just find it a, a, a real pain sometimes trying you know, to you know probably sell everything still you got like some some assholes or every 15th or something like that yeah but you will make more money money if you sell something than scrap it we all know that mm -hmm. definitely oh, yeah absolutely you, you make more money selling ram than you will do scrapping it because you'll have some Egypt then you, to buy then it. you do buying ram right <laughs> <laughs> you get some fool buying it online well yeah. you know and I guess the trade-off is, you know, you put something up and maybe you sell it for a hundred bucks when you would have only gotten ten bucks for scrap. But then you'll have twenty other things that you put up on eBay and they sit there forever and they never get sold. Yeah, but you can eventually um, scrap them out if they don't sell any of so you're not losing. Yeah, anything. yeah. So uh -huh. you know, it's just, it's just, do you want to put up with? And the uh, first item when you forget to take out from eBay and you decide to scrap it and then boom, it's gonna sell. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hundred percent going to happen. As soon as you take it down off eBay and scrap it, someone wants to buy it. <laughs> I wonder hey, if you can turn this into a crossbow or something. I can squeeze ten pounds of feeding boards into a large flat box. Twenty dollars to ship, fifty return, thirty net profit. Getting ready to send. Yeah, so that's a nice profit. See you scrapping there. So if you're making every box, every box you send, if you're making thirty dollar profit, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, better done than nothing. Yeah. Or it's laying on the shelf. No. Oh, yeah. What would you grade that as, Shark? <laughs> low grade. So, yeah, it's that low looks like a USB 3 board. I need that for my it's PC. Low peripheral board. You got no input for that. Don't matter. Actually, oh, wait. That's from, a, that's from a laptop. Never mind. It's from a monitor. Low monitor. Peripheral. Same, same. Really? According to your girlfriend, yeah. <laughs> Send him a picture. Like, you know, every one of the monitors is going to have one. He said they're low peripheral. Okay. 
Just like that. Okay? That's just a little peripheral voice. Okay, so if yeah, I that pry this open, it's probably yeah. going to explode. So out of each one, you get average of two low peripheral boards, 90 cents a pound. And then these are the high. No brain that, pain. That's, a, then, that's, a, oh, that's the power board, is it? This is the, the finger board that goes on the back of the monitor. Okay. But those fish bugs are weightless. Yeah, that's what I say. But I have 964 of them, so I'm good. So we a bit thin, yeah. Yeah, yeah, those those weird. They're gonna weight nine flimsy pounds. Yeah, <laughs> flimsy things. <laughs> but they have they have some gold flashing on them. Yeah, and then this one here, I just took the uh, that little motor that was on there, popped that off, and then that little spool motor that everybody pulls apart. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna leave that on there just for kicks and giggles. No, I got uh, I got that here as well. I'm gonna take that oh, off. That's basically what you get out of them. now. The bigger ones, you know, it might get a little better. I don't know. Same, 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 same. Person in the basement, your camera is not working yet. Switch on your camera. <laughs> got Gotta be Hello, desert. Person in the basement. Desert. Desert. No. Either desert or parky. Parky. Parky, put on your camera. There he is. I can see parky. <laughs> Just in case it wasn't the real parky, I want to make sure. <laughs> no, no, no problem. My, my battery, no, no, no. Why did he roll no. no instructions needed. <laughs> no introduction. I didn't need it. Sorry. Sorry. I don't need it. Obstruction. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. No introductions needed with me. Uh, so, how are you, Parky? What are you up to? Uh, not a lot. Uh, Mercedes has got a broken front spring. Who broke it? You or someone else? Exactly. I don't, no, I don't know. I've been making a bit of a, a bit of a funny noise for a while. But I haven't got to look at it today. Jacked it up. Another look at the spring. It, well, I posted on. I posted on the Instagram. Posted a picture on the Insta. Tell me this, party right? When you take out any spare parts from your car, would you not save them up and bring them to the scrapyard and get a few pounds back for scrap value from them? What do you do with them? Well, if it's, if it's, if it's like scrap metal, I'll just take it down to recycling centre. You know what we call the tip. Yeah, would you not give it to just, not give it to a scrapper and let him make a few? <coughs> pounds? No, I just recycle it. Do you hate us scrappers that much, do you? No, no. <laughs> you can also I'm, sell it by yourself. yourself. I'm not a scrapper, simple as. Yeah, yeah, why is there a pile of scrap in your background? Oh, no, 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 uh, American favorite favorite hoarder just came in, so welcome in, American favorite hoarder. Good to Hello, see you. Um, scrap is life. My life yeah. is a pile of scrap, but well, no longer. Isn't into scrapping because then we'd have not into we wouldn't get any free scrap if everyone was into. Scrapping. I am now a metal artist. Oh, here yeah. we go. I'm not even kind of artist. That's a nice board, uh, Sharky. What's that model? What, that, what's that, that Intel? Yeah. There's still some junk on it. What's that Intel chip? Oh, that's an i960. I just noticed that. Yeah. yeah. I'm not familiar with i960. It's definitely not a math core processor. It was almost as old as Shark. What did it come out of, Shark? Come on, it's from 80s. My. <laughs> that's Shark old. is older. <laughs> I feel a Google moment coming on here. I'm going to have to Google that. Shark is still not going to tell me. What did it come out of? Tell I-960. Shark, um... Oh, it's, a, it's a processor. Then we got this one. Oh, that's a nice board, too. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah, these were boards that I brought in oh, to show... Some, some sort of control case, board. Just in case I didn't... Rip off some uh, junk out of it. I see yours. the sign of the... You know... Not murder, but crime. Oh, and this was the other one that I wanted to, that I was going to show Chris, but I had plenty of pictures from, and I wanted to get all of the viewers' pictures up first. So, oh. are those yellow boxes big relays on there, or are they just a 
about the relays. Oh, no, they are coils. 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 These? You got yeah. you got symbol at the top of it. Yeah, those that's are just kind coils, of filters. But this is what's this is what's pretty nice. This one. Yeah, that's nice. Which yeah. is also this one and this one and this one. No, not really. The bottom one is nice, the upper one is not nice. Would you like me to scrap, scratch the white paper off of it so you can see that they're all yeah, the same? Please. Yeah, please do, because he, just, he, he doesn't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> he don't believe you, Shaq. <laughs> Go ahead, do it. And don't be getting gold paint out either, putting gold paint on. <laughs> there. I took the piece of paper off. Okay, this one looks nice. <laughs> but the, those on the left of it doesn't. Oh, oh for God! Okay. Not the left ones now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rafael's been going downhill on his uh, assessments of things. He used to be on it. I don't know. Maybe I'm getting need, old, Mike. And maybe need new glasses. Maybe new glasses are scratched up. Uh, I'm on it. There oh, look at, look at that, Rafael. Well, look better, but um, I'm, I am. Almost, <laughs> almost right. Put some, some, some glue residue on it. Take off now. Oh, yeah, just touch it there. Yeah, look at it there. <laughs> Use acetone. Yeah. Clean it up from the glue. <laughs> Make it dry. Any more than some that Here we go. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I um, I uh, I'm, I. I want to, you know, I know I should sell those, but I don't want to let go of them. <laughs> well, I should look at, um, why don't you do a wall like um, Raphael? He's a nice wall there, John, of old type boards. That are, yeah, yeah. I ought to do you know? something. I know I ought to put them up or something. I just, um, yeah, I got to figure out something to do with them. Pull them off the board, sell them to your refiner, and get it over with. <laughs> okay, Sharpster. Take so that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ooh, golden chips. Yeah, golden legs. Golden chips, golden chips, legs. Chips, yeah, chips, 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 chips. They're not so on a board. Of them. They're not yeah. on a board, but I don't look attractive. Can you show us your they board? They look more attractive without the board. Hey, <laughs> Raphael, okay, can you turn your camera to look at the board? No. Hey, watch out what you're doing. Bom, 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 bom. 64 so, pinners. Upside down. White ceramic. Come on, too much light. Can't read it. There you go. You don't need to read it. You got to look at it. Don't worry about <laughs> what I want to do. It's made in Singapore. It's junk. Throw it in the shred pile. Okay. <laughs> Make, throw it over your shoulder. Throw it in no. the shred. Okay, hey. I got another one. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get the old thing again. Boom. <clears throat> Doesn't say it's in Singapore. What did that come out of? Um, what did you take it out of? It looks like a Texas Instrument logo on there. That's you what I was thinking. Uh oh, I noticed. I noticed that. Yeah, it does look know. like the Texas Instrument logo. Maybe. What did Maybe. you take it out of? Do you remember? Eh, uh, come on. We can spell. <laughs> <coughs> if I got only one of it, I may remember. I got few of them, so. I have Quite hard to the truck. Got Ralph. Oh, Ralph, that's awesome, dude. Man. <laughs> that, look at that. That is beautiful. There we go. <laughs> that is Sorry, I and I'm not, I'm not holding it that. upside down. This came out of an old digital alarm clock from the late 70s. Or the it's early wrong. 80s. Don't scratch it. <coughs> only, a only a tiny one, but it's the first and only golden chip I found so far. In an alarm clock of all places. Yeah, what do you think of that, Raphael? Alarm clock. Yeah. <laughs> That's our achievement. There you go. Well done. Yeah. Congrats. I actually have that on video in one of my scrapping compilations. I yeah, I thought you called scrapping that, uh, the 90s or scrapping the 80s. I don't know. As American Harder said, um, did that come off the Chinese balloon that they shot down? I wonder would there be any nice. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Rob, did you make? Uh, oh, I remember what this one came off of. Perfect gold square on the center. Yeah, I could have done that. 
Yeah, so I remember where this one, this one came off of a piece of equipment that was, um, it was it would simulate uh, network, um, random network delays and uh, interference uh, so that when they were installing uh, large networks, they could test the backup capabilities and the communication flows and things like that. Uh, so it was, uh, and it was a pretty interesting scrap. It and you know it had a tiny little CRT, and I I just thought it was going to you know be some crap board when I first started scrapping it, and then I found a you know this this and another nice board in it. So. This will give me a nice workout. <laughs> it's the, the, spring the, from the, the spring part from the monitor. You can you can put that between your legs and it'll be like Kathy Ireland used to do with <coughs> yeah like the, the what, what do they call those the thigh masters thigh, thigh master yeah. yeah all what you need to do just got to watch if those thingy doesn't gonna flip and just spring out <laughs> <laughs> no there's there's some security screws here on the sides I was looking to take those out but I think I'm gonna let them stay stay in there that might be safer or this is gonna turn into some type of catapult or crossbow like. Uh, surely a man of your skills can make a weapon out of that. Yes, I was thinking to turn this into some type of crossbow. That, like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, Ralph, you put it up your can sleeve it with a trigger these, so that you can... Yeah, one of those you know, flick, uh, nice things. Yeah. 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 Do, do Wolverine. Yeah, or on top, yeah. Yes. You can have all little knives. Hold, hold, hold on, hold on. <laughs> and use it as a razor blade. You're going to knock stab yourself live on television or live on YouTube. You uh -huh. stab <coughs> so <laughs> now you're going to get demonetized for making weapons on live stream. <laughs> Violation. <laughs> Did you see uh, Electronic Scrapper's comment? Uh, which one is that? The, that one? The white one. <laughs> <laughs> that thing is it? My mm -hmm. father there for weather travel. The true of thousands. Oh yeah. Old, four six six. Oh machine. wow. Tons, tons of, of IT stuff. stuff. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I can put this thing on here somehow. Let's see. Man, I tell you what. I wish. I wish that I had even some of the uh, computers that we used to have when I was doing uh, oceanographic and meteorological forecasting with the Navy. We had some awesome machines. Definitely. Three days, Sars. I would like you to um, address me as e waste Mike, not all on panel. <laughs> <laughs> or you can address him as Butthead on panel. Oh, oh I have something uh, yeah, cool. uh, Solars might like. She loves me. She wouldn't do that. So if I, I, I found this so while cleaning up. I think I've showed something it before, brassy, but... so we found it and saw it. It's not, it's not brassy. It's, uh, oh. it is shiny though, Be because it's a mirror. And um, I promised this to someone who uh, kind of dis disappeared off of YouTube, but it's a mirror frame, or you can use it as a picture frame, and it has all kinds of detailed figures on there, like a butterfly and plants and stuff. That seems like shroomies, black trumpets. Should be a naked woman. I'll trust you oh, mention man. mushrooms. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you, you can you can set it. You can use it as a picture fl frame. You can uh, you can hang it. You mount it. Uh, you could you could I could well it's it. I think it's uh, some type of cast stuff. So so if you like it, I'll I'll, I'll end uh, edit it. Oh, I'll edit it. I'll put it in the pile together with this this brass phone that you wanted, and uh, I'll make it make a nice package out of it. That would never get shipped. I forgot <coughs> what the other thing. I know someone gave it to me, but I forgot who it was. Don't be trying to put your phone number on that phone, Ralph. <laughs> well, she already has my phone number. How rude! <laughs> oh. And guess what? Else? Welcome in everyday solders, by the way. <laughs> guess what else I gotta do tomorrow now? Because my pallet person screwed me over. They don't want to they can't come get the pallets till Friday. Now you which, gotta hide pallets? Yep. But which means when my 26-foot truck leaves the driveway tomorrow, 
Ta da! The whole world <laughs> opens up the city. I did tell you, I did see a, a city ticket in your future. Yes. Uh, I'll have mob put behind the house tomorrow. Uh, no. Put your portrait. Put another in. action and move thing. Yeah? <laughs> put my portrait in there, like. <laughs> <laughs> No, I just gotta haul a bunch of Gaylord boxes around. I'm gonna, give this. <clears throat> I'm gonna give a couple to that company that I get that free stuff from, because they only have one box. I still have the other one. So, and a lot of those Gaylord boxes I have, they're not like the ones that break down. They just they're, they just stay together. Uh -huh. They have like some kind of a like a plastic plug in the bottom of them, and you know, it, it, it's all covered up. You know, they don't have like pieces of cardboard in there like a lot of them do. They just have like that little flap. These are like the complete box. So I'm going to take a couple of them up there and uh, uh, give the rest of the scrap here. Put the pallets behind yeah. the bins. It works for Ian, so it'll surely work for you. Put the pallets behind the bins. <laughs> <laughs> works for Ian, not you. Works for Ian, not you. You may use neighbor's bins. <laughs> here's, here's the problem. I got about 45 pallets. <laughs> and I got about 10 that are like. 100 feet long. Oh, oh, I broke it. They're real Shit. long. And does no one have a wood burning stove or furnace that you could give them to and they just burn them? No, I can, I'll give them this. <coughs> I mean, I'll put the, you know, on the, behind the house. That ain't a problem. But it's going to go wrong. They don't want, I'll just give that and the rest of the Gaylor boxes to the scrapyard. Because I'm that kind of guy. That's what I do. Just that yeah, I thought it was, it's funny that, you know, at, at scrapyards, they get so many Gaylord boxes that uh, they're happy to give them away. I, I, I was doing a drop off at my non-ferris yard. I'm like, man, I could really use a Gaylord to put some stuff in. And the guy says, hey, no problem. Hey, Jimmy, load a Gaylord in Shark's truck. They just want, they just want rid of them. Yeah, I mean, because, you know, they have them coming in all the time from people and, uh they you know they got to either break them down or stack them up or and they're filling them up to send them on to other people this can only so go like, wrong you know it's just like in constant motion kind of thing yeah. my yard's and always they, short on pallets they're always short on pallets yeah you always call them you know any pallets because when you know i go and buy the stuff from them, I, I don't take the pallets right back to them and half the time i throw them out in the street and let the city take them but i can't put 45 of them out there <coughs> No, that might be an issue. I want to see a video of, well, Kuzmak wants to see a video of the skip arriving. I want to see Come a on, video of five on each uh, neighbor. Ian's wife hitting him with the frying pan when she sees all the uh, fire extinguishers out in the yard. That's she may hit him with a fire extinguisher. <laughs> That's what I want a video of. <laughs> Ian running for his life when, when it's missing to see all these fire extinguishers all over the all over the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. And I still have that uh, apartment complex to get all those appliances out of there, too. That's, yeah, you can be a busy boy. Not too much to do. And not enough time to do it. Pretty much. And I got so, another. I got to go back out to that store and get a load of towers and other crap, too, so. So if you don't call those boxes Gaylords, what do you call them out there, Irish? Uh, which, the, the big, large boxes? We just call them bulk boxes or something. <coughs> That's oh. it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes, as unfortunate connotations over here. Yeah, we have a different meaning for it. Yeah. It, it Gaylord is a derogatory term this side of the pond. It is. Yeah. Is it really? Yeah, just like in, in that movie, meet meet the meet the parents. Uh, the guy's meet name the is like Gay, Gaylord Fokker. <laughs> in here was that title. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah but I, I think <laughs> it would be <laughs> two words. It would be two They're words. Straight words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because first time I heard you, I heard that be mentioned. You know, Gaylord boxes, and I was like, "What the hell are they allowed to say that on TV?" <laughs> <laughs> Non-binary. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yeah, Cruiser Mac, you're taking it to another extreme there. Married woman and the kicked her mother. Non-binary lords. Yeah, that's bullshit. Everything bullshit. is binary. Oh shit! <coughs> Jesus, man, stop that! We have no lords. We have no lords in Ireland. We ran all the English out of Ireland. That they thought they were lords. <laughs> <laughs> we don't. We don't have anyone ruling us. We don't have to put the the um, king's head on any of our coins. I see Australia have stopped putting the king's head on the um, on the notes in Australia as well. They're not going to do it this time. They said the queen's head. Once the queen's notes are gone, they're going to put Australian people on their notes. Well, at least they didn't say after his head. Can just still have the queen's head on the um, notes, or they, will it be changed to the king's head? I wonder. In Canada, who's there? Well, you can. It won't be happening anytime soon until uh, the new notes come out. You know, they're changing from time to time. Yeah, no, but in Australia they're they're not going to change over. They're going to put Australian people, uh, some famous Australian people, on there. Smoke a fag. They, <laughs> sometimes they say uh, light a fag on fire. Uh, that can be picked uh, up in the. Also has a unfortunate connotation. Yeah, uh, so you can't say so you can't say Gaylord, but they call cigarettes fags. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's yeah. Is a is a slang word for a cigarette. Yeah. yeah. It's also a slang word for something else. Yeah, going back to the gay lord. <laughs> you 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 go to somebody over here and say, "Give me a fag," you're gonna get your ass beat. <laughs> well, yeah, that's it. exactly. Different different countries are different meanings for yep. different yep. stuff, and you have to be careful what you say. <coughs> that's what you can say in your country, and you come in and you say it in someone else's country, we get you bet off. <laughs> yeah. you know? I re I remember when when I was on vacation in. Um, uh, uh, Hungary, I think it was. There uh, was a kid playing on uh, the Nintendo DS, the old one with, with that had all, also the stylus and had like all kinds of uh, well interactive games. And there was one with a little boat, and he was using his pen to try to get the boat to move. But you actually have to blow into the microphone so it registers the the the, the sound or the blowing, and then the the wind starts going in the, in the game, and and your sailboat goes. So I was like, "No, oh, you don't. You, you blazen in Dutch, which is blowjob in German." And the kid was German. I didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so the police came and kicked in Ralph Ralph's door. <laughs> no, no, his, mo his mother came and come to pick him up, and I was like, "Yeah, whatever." So I was at a I was at a uh, business conference a week or so ago here with local business people. And this one lady runs a beauty shop, and she was talking about uh, these Brazilian blowout specials that they're having. And after a while, I raised my hand, and I said, what's a blowout special? And the whole room just lost it. They just <laughs> lost it. She, she turned bright red. She said, not what you think it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's you see, Sharp, you're hanging around with the wrong people too much. I, I guess, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind you me, a blow is when a, a tire undergoes an IUD. There you are. Rapid your... unscheduled disassembly. <laughs> Disassemble. Uh, Ralph is still working on his new weapon, I see. No, I threw the okay. spring mechanism away because I. Oh. Uh, collected it and it stayed in there and I was afraid that it, if at some point it was to go shoot out, it would either go through my monitor or my other monitor or at my computer or whatever or my face. So um, I just threw it in the shred. Just reckon, yeah. face come like the third spot. <laughs> no, I'm, not more, more important. <laughs> I'm not even going to comment on uh, Wannabe Scrapper's uh, last comment. <laughs> <laughs> Really? I just had to read it. <laughs> just um, and there's there's a lot of people over here right now that if you told them that you you uh, quit smoking fags, they would you know have they they wouldn't know what to think. You just did. 
yeah, 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 yeah. It wouldn't. Anyhow, it's about time nearly for me to finish off. So I guess <laughs> go around with that before, one <laughs> before before YouTube decides. And to on that note, <laughs> uh, Shark Strapper, what's the plan for the week? <laughs> Oh, man. So Monday, um, I have a video up. I put the new Stripmeister E1000 to work on Romex cable and uh, some very interesting results out of that little exercise. I've got a huge pickup tomorrow that got postponed uh, from because of rain on Friday, but huge pickup tomorrow, weather permitting. And uh, it's just it's going to be a busy week of uh, pick up street scrapping and hopefully I'll get around to actually scrapping something. I got a lot of good, good, good Harry, good didn't we see all that thingy at the ends already? <laughs> nope. Okay. Nope. And then, um, you know, so, uh, and then uh, of course, next Sunday, we will have our live stream again at 2 p.m. And is Eastern. Nixon, did you have anyone on the live or is it back to your talk about metals and your stocks? No, uh, no interviews next week. Okay. <coughs> okay. Um, Ralph, what's your plan for the week? Oh, oh sorry. I was <laughs> doing something else. Um, I'm going to be working over the border in Belgium uh, for the whole of next week uh, because uh, they're understaffed over there. So I get to go there uh, in a uh, yeah, crap country. Um, because um, I have no idea where to go and uh, I'm going to have to solely drive on my navigation and uh, meet all kinds of annoying people because the, the mentality there is um, weird sometimes. Talk about, um, in, uh, talk about a fin in a whole country in right. 10 seconds or less. I, 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 I don't care. It's just my experience. Um, <laughs> But uh, I also have a lot of friends over there. So have you ever heard of the Belgian uh, kissing, Ralph? I'm 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 not looking for a stock on, on Stella. Um, I don't know. Tell me this I'm not looking forward to going there because I'm going to be driving a lot and not working. I'm, I get the same number of jobs, so I'll probably be home past eight o'clock or whatever. Um, so in Belgium, so, speak Flemish, isn't it? Yeah, well, it, it's it's a weird weird form of Dutch, actually. Oh, okay, uh, that's what I was wondering. What's the language going to be like? Will it be a problem with the language, or no? The language will. Yeah, unless unless there's people speaking French, then my first question is going to be, do you speak English? Which they always like. Um, <laughs> and if they don't, then I say, well, sorry, then I can't help you. Um, okay. And uh, so I will probably not have much time to either uh, do scrapping or do editing or actually film something. So no video, in other words. That sounds like Florida. Really? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. They speak gibberish, Florida, though. <laughs> goobledy, goobledy. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so no video from Ralph. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Pagnest, what's your plan? At this moment, I've, I've, no, I've still no content, although I might just have enough for a bloopers video, but I've got the uh, Mercedes to fix front coil springs and the Volvo's going in for repair as well but that's got to go into a specialist because um, I can't repair electronic modules oh you central, yeah, central modules playing up again so specialists are going to take it out and I'm going to get it sent off for repair or okay. replacement so maybe a video but maybe not a video well yeah there's, there's a possibility of a video if I, if I get uh, springs done on Mercedes there will be a video <coughs> Uh, Raphael, like usual, something at the Tuesday and maybe short at Thursday and stream at Saturday. That's okay. my plan. Well, that's the plan for, for Ralph Bell. I keep boxing Ralph. Ralph. I was boxing Ralph. 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 <laughs> it happens a lot. I'm, I'm a repairer, I don't scrap stuff. Uh, e waste, Mike. I'm sure I know what you're trying to be on. Please tell us something, something with monitors. Sowers, I hope everything's okay. First of all, yeah, yes, if they're back in the hospital. Um, I am doing nothing. Do you not have a rake of monitors to deal with? <laughs> it's the no? monitor god. I don't know nothing about monitors. All right, okay, fair I'm enough. taking tomorrow off because I can't even lift my arms. Yeah, you were saying that in your last video that yeah. you're showing. And if the, city, if the city puts a thing on my door, I have five days to clean it. So. 
it just gives me more time. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And, and, yeah. and if a city gives you a ticket, my prediction came true. So I was right all along. They, give you, they never give you, they'll give you a, a warning first. You know, remove pallets or whatever they see, and then you have five days to do it, and then they'll drive by like the nosy pieces of crap that they are to see if, you know, it's gone. You know what you need to do? You need to get like a plastic sheet with like painted green like grass and stuff like that and just slide over things. When they drive by, you think it's grass. <laughs> <laughs> that would work, but they know this property too well. <laughs> <laughs> He's on the most wanted list. Yeah. No, I have to make I have to make a few phone calls tomorrow, get rid of some of these gallery boxes and but I'm really not gonna do much work tomorrow because I gotta I'm I'm done. I'm broke. My body's He's broke. broken. He's a broken man. I'm just broke. I'm just broke all the way around. He's a broken I man. Had, yeah, I had to call my neighbor to come and help me finish. Because I just I couldn't do it, man. I was, I was sitting on the back of the truck with my head down like I, you know, lost my best friend. I don't even have a best friend. <laughs> <laughs> Got any friends? I don't want friends. Rest up, man. Rest up. Friend or joke? Would, would enemies like oh, who, who need what friends? What about me, Mike? What about me? Uh, You're not. Well, I, 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 I'd like my, to echo my lover. Like, ah, like yes. <laughs> Jesus. That's different. That's I, right. I, I'd like to echo what Mike said to Everyday Solars. I hope uh, that everything gets better for you because she's saying that they had to go back into the hospital again. So yeah. um, as as Mike could say, uh, said there, I hope things are improved for her. And um, it was good to see her back during the week with a video. And I, we understand that um, other stuff takes priority over scrapping, so which um, but we're always going to be there when she comes back, as she's seen when she came back live there again, our, our premiere, everyone was back in there giving her support, So, which is great from the um, scrapper community, as always. So, Everyday Solars, take your time. We'll always be around and um, hope everything does improve. As always, I appreciate everyone that came in, whether you're in from the beginning, whether you came in at the end, to the middle, came in, left for a while, whatever. I do appreciate it. And um, as always, I leave the last word up to Ralph Morick to finish us out. So, Ralph, scrap you later. Bye-bye, guys. Thanks for being in. Catch you all next week.